In September 2023, we completed two consultations to amend the human medicines regulations to enable dental therapists, dental hygienists and pharmacy technicians to supply and administer medicines without the need for a prescription. We aim to publish the consultation response in the next few weeks. In December 23, the Misuse of Drugs and Regulations 2001 were amended to enable independent prescriber paramedics and therapeutic radiographers to prescribe certain controlled drugs. I thank the Minister for that response, but my Lords, primary and community health services, particularly general practice, are under great workforce pressure and waiting times for patients are unacceptably long. Whilst the plan to extend pharmacy prescribing is welcome, a very important next step must be to extend appropriate independent prescribing and referral rights to a wide range of allied health professionals including speech and language therapists, occupational therapists, diagnostic radiographers and many more similar professions. As the Minister will know, the <coughs> Lord's integration of prim a primary care committee recent report supported this and previously there was an unpublished NHS scoping report. So will the Minister now publish that report and act on the Lords Committee's recommendations to quickly implement the benefits for speedy and integrated patient care? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I thank uh, the noble Lord for his question and, and agree absolutely in the direction of travel uh, in, in all of this. We, we are very keen that um, every clinician um, works to the top of their profession and we bring in allied skills that can help supplement that and uh, can prescribe with that as well. We need to be careful in that because obviously there's dangers of over, uh, over prescribing, but as a general sense of direction, we totally agree and want to extend as far as possible. My Lords, on fulfilling its promise uh, made in, in reply to a question for short debate in this House, to pass the extension of uh, prescribing rights to paramedics by the end of last year. And yet, that was no less than four years after the extension had been approved by the Committee on the Misuse of Drugs. Why did it take so long? And will the Minister undertake that future properly approved extensions will be implemented more quickly? Yeah. Uh, yes, because the noble order is, is correct. It shouldn't take so long. Uh, again, I think we all agree with the approach. Um, again, so noble lords understand there's a two-step um, process. Firstly, um, the body that we're trying to extend it to needs to be recognised by the Commission on Human... Um, uh, needs to be agreed by a review on the Commission on Human Medicines. And then the Advisory Council on Misuse of Drugs uh, do need to take a look at it. We're all aware of the dangers of antimicrobial resistance, so that's why we need to be careful about things such as antibiotic uh, prescribing. But generally, we clearly want to try and do it as fast as, quick as possible. My Lords, I, I'm sure the, uh, most people will welcome the extension of prescribing facilities to uh, pharmacies. Does the Noble Lord, the Minister, understand that the rate of closure of independent pharmacies in the UK, these vital community uh, facilities, uh, is absolutely accelerating. And will he undertake to go and look at the rate of closure and understand why these small independent businesses, which are the pillars of communities, uh, are closing at such a rate because they're just financially unsustainable? You, my friend, that um, not only are they the pillar of community, uh, we believe they're the front line in a lot of health yeah, services. Yeah, yeah. And this is all about actually trying to put more business and activity their way to increase their viability, both in terms of paying for treatments such as these and increasing footfall generally, uh, because I completely agree with my noble friend that we want as many of these businesses thriving in their own right as small businesses, but also as a vital part of the health ecosystem. My Lord, uh, increasing the range of health professionals who can prescribe is welcome, but will the Noble Lord the Minister agree that this makes it even more important that people can see their entire medical record in one place, as the Times Health Commission, I think, has proposed? Uh, what does the Noble Lord the Minister make of that proposal, and what is the Government doing to ensure that wherever you get a prescription, that that record comes into one central point? 
Um, uh, yes, I, and um, it won't surprise noble lords to know that I'm totally in favour of um, you know, the whole digital project and having it uh, available in one source, particularly on the question of pharmacy first, for instance. What we will quickly have a system, actually, in, in, in a matter of uh, uh, a few months, is where everything that they do will actually automatically update the GP records. And that's important because actually once we've done it once for pharmacists, then we can bring it to all other groups as well. So absolutely moving that direction. Noble Lord, the Minister will be aware that the Royal College of Speech and Language Therapists wrote to the Secretary of State last November, highlighting how independent prescribing responsibilities would help, for instance, patients with head and neck cancer, quite urgent cases. But so can the Minister be a little bit more specific and give a t timeline of when speech and language mm. therapists will be able to undertake independent <coughs> prescribing training so that these people can really have some help? Um, um, I, I will need to get back to the uh, noble lady on the precise timeline. As I say, the, the key steps, and again, there's another example where we have an SI debate coming up shortly around um, uh, physician associates is first you have to be part of a regulated, a legally reg reg uh, regulated body, um, and then once you are, then the formal reviews can take place and the training alongside with it. And I will write specifically on the details, but we are keen to allow speech therapists and others to prescribe as well. My lords, my lords, people on the autistic spectrum who need prescribed drugs for their condition and associated um, reasons. Um, have to have a psychiatrist prescribe them because psychologists cannot prescribe. Now, I'm not for one minute suggesting that all psychologists should be allowed to prescribe because they're quite a, a range of people. But in those parts of the country where there is no psychiatrist, and I speak from personal experience here, where there is no psychiatrist who can prescribe to autistic patients, can he take a look to see if certain psychologists could be trained with, an, with an, a knowledge of autism to fill that gap? Uh, yes. No, I, I, I will happily uh, undertake to do that. I mean, there's a couple of mechanisms we can use. We can either give them the independent um, prescribing ability, or we can do what we call the... Uh, we can give patient group directions around a certain number of items. That's what we're using for the pharmacy first, for instance. On those seven conditions, we are giving them the ability to do that. Clearly, that's something we could look at doing for the relevant drugs in the autism space. My Lords, um, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the steps to, so far taken by the government uh, to delegate prescribing to pharmacists, for example, sound pretty sensible. Um, but can the Minister assure the House that, bearing in mind that correct prescribing requires correct diagnosis, the government will be extremely reluctant to delegate out to uh, healthcare professionals that don't have the benefit of a doctor's uh, training the roles of doctors? Uh, yeah, so I, I suspect we're starting to get on to the debate, which we will have shortly around uh, physician associates and anaesthetist associates. In both cases, I think there is definitely a role for them, because, again, we want to support the doctors in the surgery and allow them to train and uh, teach to the top of their profession. Uh, but clearly, we need to be sure what they can do and uh, where they need the extra supervision, and that's what we are setting out. Uh, further to the Minister's reply to my noble friend Lord Bradley, what is the Government's plan to integrate an increase in independent prescribers being trained as part of the long-term workforce plan? And given that community pharmacists are already trained to vaccinate against COVID-19 and the flu, will the Government be expanding this service to include the delivery of MMR jabs to help address recent measles outbreaks? <coughs> Um, well, um, firstly, in terms of long-term workforce pl plan, yes, the allied health professionals, we want to actually increase by 25% by 2030. We see a lot of that route coming through apprenticeships, uh, around 20% of them or so. In terms of the MMR vaccinations, again, I think what has proven very well from the pharmacies is just how well they've managed to supplement that in the COVID and the flu space. Um, so um, I think that's a good idea. I will need to take it back rather than agreeing that on the hoof, but <laughs> I will come back uh, because I think it's an excellent idea. The Lord will know that the Health and Care Professionals Council has suggested on three times that sports therapists should be statutory regulated, who could also take part in subscribing. Could, you, could the Noble Lord the Minister say when this might be likely to get uh, legal agreement? Um, 
Yes. So I, I apologise, I wasn't quite sure that I picked up around support services, um, what, what the noble lady was refer referring to there. Sports. Oh, sports, sorry. Uh, apologies, oh. sports. Yes, <laughs> no, 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 that's my, 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 my problem there. Um, yes, I mean, very, very much in terms of sports. And it goes to the whole social prescribing space as well and the role of, of physios uh, within that as well. Um, I know they are the list in terms of the 15 progressional groups that we are looking to expand it out to, and I will provide the detail on that exact time.